It took six years to complete and it is a result of so much love, so much generosity, trust and faith and a good heart see, of the people from all over the world. wouldn't have been possible at all, you know, without uh, everyone really uh, putting their heart and, uh, and uh, trust in this vision and in this uh, purpose. All of the people's prayer and aspirations and hard work has really gone towards preserving the Buddha Dharma, whose main essence is wisdom and compassion, which is the ultimate source of refuge and help for all sentient beings. Das <laughs> Tenin Whenever a rice has been and thrown or being offered into the air, into the sky. This also symbolizes bringing the auspiciousness to the earth and from the uh, all directions of the world uh, by invoking the great enlightened beings and bodhisattvas to just bring the shower of blessings right now. <laughs> Don't push. 
Now we are in a very critical transition period. Our older generation who have actually seen Tibet is almost dying out now. We don't have many of them still left. So like myself, we are the first generation born outside of Tibet in exile here. And then there are new generations that are born after us as well. And for them, it's a really great source of courage and a great source of strength as well as pride in a sense that this is uh, really what is about, what makes the Tibetans special basically, is because we've been uh, for centuries really custodian of such a precious path which is completely based on the humanity and peace. It is so important that these young generations, the new generations of Tibetans, reconnect themselves you know, to the ancient life of the Tibetan uh, spirituality. It's a really a great moment of joy uh, for the older generation, but even more so to the younger generation because they are really witnessing a really important part of their history because this is what would remain with them for the rest of their life. <laughs> 